Uh, one of the other questions that came through, Alan, is uh, can we do vibration analysis on composites? Um, yeah, that's kind of a, um, a two-sided question. Um, you know, we could definitely set up and, uh, and run the random vibration analysis. Um, what, we're, what we're kind of exploring right now on the development side um, is, uh, is what level to, uh, um, to support the, the results for a, a composite model. Um, currently, right now, the issue that we run into is uh, you know, already, um, you know, you're already obtaining, um, you know, depending on what you, what you request, uh, um, you know, displacements, velocities, acceleration, stress, element forces, uh, maybe re um, SPC and MPC forces. So you have all these different outputs for um, first the frequency response portion and then the random response portion. Um, so right now, what you get or you're getting output from your composite model in random is a uh, kind of a, kind of an equivalent uh, uh, shell or plate element stress. Um, you know, we basically uh, homogeneize the structure from your orthotropic properties and give you like a, a bottom and top layer type of stress. Um, now, if we want to, uh, you know, um, give you a uh, a representation of what would happen in every layer uh, for every uh, composite element in your structure for random, um, you can imagine that's going to be quite a bit of output. So we're looking at ways to streamline this um, for ways of, uh, you know, for you to be able to quickly identify um, composite or first ply failure um, without getting, um, you know, really tons of unnecessary output. Um, we're taking a look at maybe just giving you um, maximum and minimum stresses. Um, or something of that nature. Um, but that's kind of where we are, are at right now.